Let's start. Today we will see how to implement the OnBack Press in a fragment in Java Android. Let's see the project structure. Here we have the main activity and two fragments 1 and 2. And in the UI, we have the activity underscore main.xml file, which is the main activities layout. Two fragment layouts. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have a constraint layout that we will use as a container to load the fragments. The ID of this layout is the container. In the fragment underscore one.xml file, we have a button, go to the second fragment. And in the fragment underscore two.xml file, we have a text view, second fragment. Let's see the Java code now. These are the imports. This is the main activity. In the onCreate function, we call the load first fragment function. This is the load first fragment function where we load the first fragment into the fragment container. These are the imports. This is the first fragment. In the onCreate function, when the button is clicked, we call the go to second fragment function. This is the go to second fragment function. This is how we go to the second fragment. Here we put the first fragment in the back stack. These are the imports. This is the second fragment. In the onCreate function, we call the setup on back pressed function, which registers the on back press event for the fragment. This is the setup on back pressed function. Here we call the get on back pressed dispatcher callback, which has a handle on back pressed function. First, we check if the back pressed functionality is enabled or not. If enabled, we do our task, for example, here we have shown a toast, and then called the activity.onBackPressed function. And then we set the enabled value to false. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement the onBackPress function in a fragment in Java Android. Thank you.